Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you the integration between Gmail and Asana. First of all, we need to create our account in Asana. Uh, once we do that, we want to go to the top left corner of Asana and pick the second option, which is Explore Integrations. So, let me correct myself. This is about uh, Asana integration to Gmail. So, yeah, we want to press to Explore Integrations. And now you can see this pop-up window. Asana is actually providing us with a lot of options. So we just want to pick a Gmail from all those options. There's basically like 100 options. So you better start scrolling and for sure you will find something you actually need. So press on Gmail and now you can see Gmail and Asana are already linked together or it's included in Asana. But there is other way how you can make this inter integration work. We want to go to zapier.com. I'll stronger, strongly recommend to create an account here and start with zapping. What does it mean? We want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we are here, we can, uh, for example, name our zap with uh, asana to gmail. For example, but it can be more work related, it's completely up to you. Now we want to set a trigger. The first application we are going to use here is obviously Asana. It will be our trigger app. So we have to choose an event. What will happen if something happens? So if new user come to Asana, it will actually trigger uh, the outcome for Gmail. So let's say new user come to Asana. We press continue. We have to go and log in to Asana. We want to press continue. You want to uh, set up a trigger. So I created uh, the marketing account. So I'm going with the one. And now you can uh, test the trigger. But for this video, it's not very relevant. The outcome app is obviously Gmail. Gmail is here, or you can just use a search engine to find it. Now Gmail, what will happen? When new user come to Asana, it will send an email to people you actually want him to like meet or, or whatever. Or you can reply or, or label. Let's go with send an email. We press continue, choose an account. Let's go with my basic one. And now you have to set up an action. Who you want to send those emails to? Your copies, hidden copies, name, reply, uh, and also some text. Once you've done that, you're basically uh, continue to finish. Uh, you have to basically have to continue, and your integrations will be done. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.